get people in our area casting votes. Yeah, CBS 2 investigative reporter David Goldstein joins us with his exclusive findings. David. Well, Pat and Paul, it sounds incredible, but it is true. Hundreds of people who cast votes according to state records, but we found they've been dead for years. He took a lot of time choosing his candidates. Annette Gibbons' father, John Senkner, died in Palmdale in 2003. The World War II veteran's marker shows where he was buried 13 years ago. But we found records showing he somehow voted from the grave in 2004, 2005, 2006, 2008, and 2010. Is it possible that your dad voted in 2010? No, he was quite dead then. He's not the only one. We compared millions of voting records from the California Secretary of State's office with death records from the Social Security Administration and found hundreds of so-called dead voters. 265 in Southern California, a vast majority of them, 215 in L.A. County alone. The numbers come from state records that show votes were cast in that person's name after they died. And in some cases, we discovered they voted year after year. Across all counties, we found 32 dead voters who cast ballots in eight elections apiece, including a woman who died in 1988, and records show she somehow voted in 2014, 26 years after she passed away. We don't know how the dead voters voted, but 86 were registered Republicans, 146 Democrats, including Senkner. He was a diehard Democrat, and I was thinking that if uh, somebody else was voting under his name, he's probably rolling in his grave if they're voting Republican. She said her dad always voted at the polls, only now records show someone else may be casting his vote. It just astounds me. I don't understand how anybody can get away with that. And then there's Julita Abutin. Records show she voted in Norwalk in 2014, 2012, 2010, and 2008. The only problem is she's buried here at Forest Lawn. Abutin died in 2006. Is it possible your mother voted in 2014? There's no way. Abutin's daughter Maravik says it's certainly impossible that her mother voted, but the L.A. County Registrar confirms they have signed vote-by-mail envelopes with her mother's name for the 2014 and 2012 election even though she died 10 years ago. And what do you think about that? Somebody's using your mother's name to vote. I guess taking advantage of the situation. Oh, he passed away. Edward Carbajal Jr.'s father died in La Puente in 2001, but state records show a vote was cast in his father's name in eight elections after he passed away. It's possible as a junior, election officials mistakenly attributed the vote to his father. There's no way to tell from our data but he wonders why his dad is even registered. I mean, that should be something that everybody that's involved with these type of things should uh, know who's alive and who isn't. That's the way it's supposed to be. The L.A. County Registrar told us, quote, we removed 1,200 to 2,000 deceased records from the database per month, but we checked all the dead voters from L.A. County on the Registrar's website and found 212 of 215 still registered and eligible to vote in next month's presidential primary election. It's very troubling because it basically dilutes the voice of the lawful voter. Ellen Swenson is with True the Vote, a nationwide voter rights group. But what it does is every single vote that was cast by a dead person actually canceled out a vote of a lawful voter. Because if they voted for one candidate and you voted, let's say, for another, your vote got canceled out. Supposed to change after the hanging Chads incident in Florida in the 2000 presidential election. Congress passed the Help America Vote Act in 2002. It mandated sweeping reforms, including a statewide voter registration system that would eliminate ineligible voters. But California is the only state that's still not compliant with the act. Secretary of State Alex Padilla hopes to have it compliant later this year. You are not supposed to have dead people on the rolls. J. Christian Adams is with the Public Interest Legal Foundation. The problem is California has been the most derelict state in the country in implementing statewide databases that are required under federal law. They just blew it off for over a decade. And in that decade and more, we found hundreds of votes on the state's own database cast for people who have died, like John Senkner. It's very sad 
that people can just take somebody's name and go out and vote for them. Well, our story is already getting some attention. We understand tomorrow L.A. County supervisors will call for a full investigation. Pat and Paul. Well, David, does anybody have any idea who's casting these votes? It's really hard to tell. Certainly they don't think it's any organized kind of effort. It's impossible to tell, mainly because by law the county only keeps those actual voting books for 22 months, so they may never know. Wow, that's eye-opener there for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David. Thanks.